Hello and welcome to my new video. It is time to finally try this new T-Display S3 board on breadboard. This is my third video featuring this board. This was first and this was second one. Uh, in this video for the first time I will use some external components to see how this board perform in real life on breadboard. Also I wanted to make something you can use for your own needs. You can modify my code and use this with some other sensors, for example. Both of my boards came with these pin headers in this nice case. I thought that soldering this would be hard because of uh, the acrylic piece that holds display, but it was not that hard. You will need only nice soldering iron with small head. Good news is that you can order a version with pin headers already soldered to board. And this is how the board looks with header pins. Not elegant as this one without pins, but this is a development board and we need all the pins. In this example I have a couple external components and I am using simple analog read and digital read functions to read and show values on this display. I have ambient light sensor. Values are shown in this gauge. You can see when I create little shade. amount of light will be much lower. I have microphone. You can see uh, this red line inside this tiny graph while, while I'm talking. <whistles> hello, hello. Can you see me talking? And here I can check input voltage in millivolts. Analog pin 4 is used to check voltage. So I have input devices and as output I have this LED. I can turn it on or off with this push button. And state is shown here. We. I'm using it to turn it to turn on or off LED, but you can use it for something else. For example, for a motor, ventilator, or I don't know. These modules have three wires. Red is VCC, black is ground, and green is connected to an analog pin. This gauge shows value on analog pin 1. This graph or this microphone is connected to analog pin 2. Push button is connected to pin 21. And LED is connected to pin 16. In code you can change pins. Like always code is in description so feel free to use it for your own needs. I'm aware that my code is sometimes hard to read and understand so I'm trying to make it more I don't know how to say user friendly. I'm adding a bunch of comments and I will try to explain a bit. So on this display I have four different sprites. Each sprite is used for different module or component. Uh, first sprite is used for show this gauge. Sprite 2 is this little graph. Sprite 3 is this... I don't know how to spell battery. Okay. I will correct that in code. Or you will. And here is sprite 4, this switch. 
I added these common lines so I hope this will help you with variables. So have fun. I hope this will be useful to someone. Uh, this is great development board. It is still very new so there is not a lot of lots of information about it. So my plan was to give you many useful examples and useful information on my channel about this board. I hope that next video will be a game. We will see. I need more time for making games. I already made a few games for old T display and I can wait to make something more complex with this new responsive and fast board with this big display. This is it for this week. Like always don't miss description, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support my work you can buy me coffee, link is in description. Thank you and bye. <whistles> microphone, microphone, microphone. I have microphone, I have mic, I have microphone and I want a bike. It would be nice if this microphone is directed here. Okay, now, now, now it's much better. Much better, much better. Much better, much better, much better, much better. Now it's much better. Okay, goodbye.